welcome to My Security TV and the Cybersecurity Weekly Podcast. My name is Chris Coverage. I'm the Executive Editor with My Security Media. And today we're joined by Manoj Kumar, who is the Enterprise Business Director for Secure ID here in Australia and New Zealand. Manoj, uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, thank you, Chris. Uh, it's, it's a pleasure to join you here. Let's walk on to the, to the market strategy that you've got, because uh, again, Enterprise are always going to be, we often heard, hear the term journey and enterprises are always in that kind of project uh, approach, uh, the, the, the transformation, the digital transformation or a cloud migration just doesn't happen. They have to plan and, and work towards something. And I think this is where you mentioned before, RSA is with the customer over a longer period of time. You've got that pedigree where customers know you, you work with the customer. Uh, to, to bring them on and, and over. Uh, what's the market strategy for you uh, to, to roll this out? Because uh, again, it's, it's almost, a, it's a large uh, sort of uh, undertaking in itself to bring out a, a new authentication process, bring it to market and then educate the users uh, on its adoption. Yeah, so, so Chris, first of all, it's, it's not new. I mean, this has, been with RSA for for so long. Uh, the authentication methods have changed, um, yeah. you know, from tokens to the multi-factor authentication uh, to the, the, the use of authentication to being more frictionless. Uh, when, I, when I look at the market today, um, with almost all the large enterprises who work with RSA today, uh, and they are on a journey, they are looking at a partner who can help them in that journey from the on-prem to the cloud. And obviously after, after COVID, uh, the journey uh, is, is becoming more, more and more serious. Are we seeing- Yeah, it's accelerated, more, right? More acceleration around that. And, uh, uh, so what, what are our customers saying is, hey, how can I move the on-prem authentication manager to the cloud? Uh, and the answer to this is that it is so simple that through the authentication manager, you can now create your own free multi-factor authentication tenant on the cloud, which is in Canberra. Our teams can help you set that and you can do the transformation slowly for say, uh, you know, we need these many number of users to be on the cloud by, by next two months. Uh, and it can be seamlessly uh, transitioned to the cloud. So our customers are liking that. Um, and that's, that's where they understand the token uh, authentication moving to multi-factor authentication. Um, I was going to say, and there's, there's no, there's no real sort of work uh, required at the background. If they've got that engine already, it is just that migrating to the cloud, and then you can create a bit more usability there as well and capability. Uh, but again, you're not really changing, you're not changing the user groups and uh, and all that yeah. type of thing. But also, it allows you to to control your policy a bit tighter as well, yeah, and Absolutely. and push that out a bit bit wider as as required. Absolutely, Chris. Absolutely. So they don't need to do any uh, uh, massive work on transitioning those uh, those users to uh, the cloud. And that's where our customers are loving the whole experience of moving those users on the multi-factor authentication. And it's very, very simple, very, very seamless. And how are you supporting your partners in, in this as well in terms of RSA? So... Um, Chris, our partners have been our strength. Um, all our partners um, are helping take that journey because these customers uh, have been with us and these partners for a very long time. They trust those partners. They understand the environment. Um, and, when, and when the solution provides the capabilities of these seamless functionalities uh, and the flexibility, to the organization uh, to do the things in their, in their time that they want to achieve those functionalities. Um, our partners are more well-versed on the technology uh, 
today and with the new with the new business um, or with, within within our say we we're pushing more enablement for our partners not just on the authentication side but also on the identity governance and the life cycle piece we're making them uh, more enabled understanding identity not just as authentication but managing those identities over a period of time or over the life cycle. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of work going on in there and our channels team and the partners are, are working towards that. Very good. So from the audience perspective, uh, uh, welcome to reach out. Uh, you can also reach out to Manoj Kumar uh, directly as well, naturally uh, as the ex executive uh, business director. But uh, thank you very much, Manoush. Uh, we've been joined by Manoush Kumar, the Executive Business Director for RSA Secure ID uh, here in Australia, New Zealand. Appreciate your time. Thank you, Chris. Thank you so much. Good on a you. pleasure. Thank, thank you. you.